speaker of the Edo State House of Assembly, Blessing Agbibako, sounding the final kernel of the fate of Philip Shaibu as Deputy Governor of the state. According to the speaker, the impeachment followed the adoption of the report of a seven-man committee set up by the Chief Judge of Edo State, Justice Daniel Okumbuwa, to investigate allegations of misconduct against Mr. Shaibu. Specifically, he was accused of perjury, divulging government secrets and anti-party activities. However, it's also an open secret that the relationship between the impeached deputy governor and his principal, Godwin Obaseki, has since fallen apart over Mr. Shaibu's ambition to get the governorship ticket of the People's Democratic Party after a fierce primary exercise. 557, 558. The party settled for Aswe Igodalo and Mr. Shaibu who claimed he won a parallel primary, was left to lick his wounds after the party recognized Mr. Igodalo as its flag bearer. Asuri me, Igodolo. But that was not enough to deter Mr. Shaibu, who later stormed the headquarters of the People's Democratic Party, demanding a certificate of return. Today is the day set aside by the electoral guideline approved by the National Working Committee to be the day that uh, the return certificate will be issued and so it's, it's not something surprising i'm here i'm here to receive my uh, certificate of return because i won the primaries uh, in edo that was conducted and uh, the authentic delegates voted this impeachment is therefore not a surprise to many observers of the political drama in edo states the drama continues, however, as Mr. Shaibu promptly rejected the action of the State Assembly, citing some irregularities. I denounce in strongest term the illegal impeachment by the Edo State House of Assembly over Trump up charges. This is not just an attack on me as an individual, but on the very democratic principle that we hold there. It's a dangerous descent into dictatorship and a threat to the foundation of our democracy. Shortly after, a mobile, marvelous Godwins takes his oath of office as the new deputy governor of Edo State. He goes ahead to speak on his plans for the office. I will do the best. It is only when I am done, it is not when I am tired. I will be I will do my best and ensure that Edo is moved from where he has taken it to a more enviable height. Yeah. The 38-year-old engineer who has been in the private sector for a better part of his career had his first feel of politics when he contested for the House of Representatives in Edo State under the platform of Labour Party. But he lost that election to the APC candidate, Mr. Peter Apatterson. Today, he is the deputy governor of Edo State under the People's Democratic Party, a position he is expected to occupy till the end of the current administration in the state.